Hello and welcome to another Every Tuesday tutorial. In this week's tutorial, we're going to go over a little bit of file organization and housekeeping when you have patterns or swatches or brushes that you'd like to put on another computer or share with a client or just to have as backup in case your program crashes someday and you might lose it. So this is a very quick tip and we're just going to walk through exactly how to save your patterns, your brushes, and your swatches in both Illustrator and Photoshop. So on screen you can see I've pulled in the patterns from the seamless pattern tutorial right up here and then these are brushes from the pattern brush tutorial that I've brought in and I'll link to both of those if you want to check out those tutorials okay so if we come over here to our swatches palette and if you don't see this you can get to it by going window swatches and it'll show up I've got my two swatches right here and we're working in Illustrator right now. So if I want to save these, and I'm also going to include a color swatch just so you can see how that can work too. So I'm just going to hit M on my keyboard and just draw out a rectangle. And let's just, let's get rid of the stroke on it. And we'll just choose a random, random color to apply to it. So let's choose maybe this color. And we want to include this as a swatch. So if I come over into my swatches and I just hit this little icon down here for a new swatch, Here's the color information, I'm just gonna hit okay. So now I've got a solid color and then pattern swatches here. So you can see that they both work the exact same way when you're saving them out. Okay, so right here on this little icon in the upper right hand corner of your swatches palette, just toggle this down and choose Save Swatch Library as AI. Make sure you choose this one instead of ASE because ASE can be a little finicky and AI is more reliable. So click on AI and then just choose where you'd like to save it. I like creating my own folder and then when I save it, I like saving it as Illustrator, Swatches, and then I will usually tack on a date, so maybe I just want the year, or if I'm working with a lot of patterns and swatches, maybe I'll just put February 2016 or a specific date if I need to. That just helps me tell them apart if I save multiple swatch or pattern files, and I'll just hit save. And now if my program crashed and I lost all of my swatches, say I lost all of these and I need to load them up again. All I have to do to load swatches is click on the same little toggle down, navigate to open swatch library, then choose other library. Once your screen pops up, choose the file that you just saved, hit open, and a new little dialog box will open right here. And all you have to do is click on each one of these and um, or you can drag them in and they'll show up over here in your swatches palette and you can just close this and they're ready to go. Okay, so that's how to save patterns and swatches in Illustrator. Now for our brushes, it's very similar, but we're working in the brushes palette here and if you don't see this, you can get to it by going window brushes. And as you can see, I've got the brushes from the pattern brush tutorial and I'm going to go through the same thing. I'm just going to toggle down this little icon up here, save brush library, choose a place on your computer where you know you're going to be able to find them whenever you need them, title your um, illustrator brushes however you'd like. This time I'm going to do February 2016, hit save, and now if these were to all go away, so they're all gone now and I want to bring them in. All I have to do is toggle down this little toggle, open brush library, other library, choose where we just saved them, hit open. And once again, you'll have this little new dialog box that'll open. All you have to do is click on each one of them and they'll appear right here. And then you can easily reapply each brush to your stroke. And if you watched, the pattern brush tutorial, you know you can reduce the size of your brush just by selecting them, going to your stroke palette, and changing the weight of your stroke. Okay, so that covers Illustrator, and now we're just going to pop into Photoshop and go over the same thing. So if I double click on my layer right here, and I go to Pattern Overlay, these are all the current patterns that I, I have. Um, in my file and these are the ones that I don't want to lose that I like to have access to whenever I need them. These are all the metallic foil textures from the Glitz and Glam kit and then I've got a few watercolor patterns down here too. So all I'm going to do is once you're in the layer style menu in the pattern overlay section you need to click on the preview of the pattern and then you're going to toggle down this little gear icon and choose save patterns. And once again, I'm just saving um, it in a place that I'll be able to remember where it is on my computer, Photoshop patterns. 
and I'm gonna save this as February 2016. And this is also good if you ever choose to sell any of the patterns that you create, you're gonna end up giving people a PAT file so that you'll be all set to go with that. So choose your location, hit save. And now if my Photoshop program crashed and I was left with just the default patterns, this is what I would have. And instead of freaking out that I lost them all, let me delete these. All I have to do is toggle down this little gear again, load patterns, choose my pattern file, hit open, and now they're all back exactly the way they were. So for brushes in Photoshop, all you have to do is come over to your brush presets panel and you can get to that by going window, brush presets, and just toggle down this little right icon and choose save brushes and then you'll go through the exact same steps to load them back in if you lose them. So it's that easy to save brushes, swatches, and patterns in both Illustrator and Photoshop. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please subscribe. I release a new design tutorial every single Tuesday and don't forget to head on over to my blog every-tuesday.com for even more design tutorials and a bunch of design freebies. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next week.